Merry Christmas everyone. It's that time of year again where you take a tree and you stick it up the bum of a fairy. Well, that's an angel, isn't it? But it's also called a fairy. But it can't be a real angel because it's got wings like a bird. So therefore, it's an abomination. It's something that God did not make. So, you take a tree and you stick it up the bum of one of these abominations and then you decorate it with lights and you put it in your house there. Uh, you might also put a star on the top perhaps and the star is a sun. So you have a pyramid shape which is the tree and you have a sun at the top which is a sun disk. So again it's one of these things that relates directly to uh, the destroyer, Apollyon. And by the way, did you know that uh, 25th of December is uh, the pagan festival of Saturnalia? So you're not actually um, well, you might be worshipping God, but they are simultaneously worshipping Apollyon the Destroyer. And all of the trinkets that you're buying from all of the shops, uh, relating to so-called Christmas, are all pagan. So therefore, you are contributing uh, to the enrichment of the worshippers of Apollyon the Destroyer. Take uh, Santa Claus here. Say hello, Santa. Okay, Santa is an anagram for Satan. And uh, the word Klaus means conquering people. So Satan, the conquering people, don't forget to take your children to go and sit on the lap of Satan, the conquering people, so he can receive a present. Which is kind of pretty sort of prostitutional, isn't it really? To entice children into Christmas with gifts. It's kind of like the pervert uh, at the park with a bag of sweets enticing children into the bushes, is it not? Um, sorry to be so harsh, but it is, isn't it? Enticing children into celebrating a pagan festival. Father Christmas is, is actually Zeus, the father of Apollyon, the destroyer. You know, the angel that you have on the top of the tree. Yeah, so this is the father and there's the son there. I know that sometimes he's got a dress on, but the thing is, Apollyon, the destroyer, is also depicted wearing dresses. Um, so therefore, and he was bisexual, so therefore, um, the father, the devil, and the destroyer there on your tree now. And that's what you're doing with Christmas. And the hats, of course, like this, this hat here, okay, with the bobbly bit on top. Um, if you look through uh, the internet, you'll find that the Magi used to wear red hats like this. Not with the white bits on them, okay, because the white bit there is a halo. And the bobble at the top is a sun disk. And that's a pyramid, because it's a pyramid-shaped hat, you see? It's all to do with the worship of the devil and his son, Satan himself, and the other Satan, his son, Apollyon, the destroyer. So, this year at my house, you see, see that? There is no Apollyon, the destroyer. There is no pyramid tree. And there is no devil in my house. And there is none of this crap either. Because I just don't want it here. All Christians should boycott so-called Christmas because it is pagan. You're participating in a pagan festival. And never mind you're going to hear, oh, it's for the kids. Well, Kids is what goats give birth to. Did you have any kids or did you have children? Do your children, do you want them to be brought up uh, in the love of God, knowing how to be kind to other people? Uh, or do you want them to be brought up in the pagan way? Which uh, Adolf Hitler was a pagan, did you know that? He celebrated Christmas too. So I'm not gonna do what Adolf Hitler done and I'm not gonna do what the pagans do because the Bible has clearly warned me. It's taken me a bit of time to catch up on this, but I'm not celebrating Saturnalia. If you wanna celebrate Jesus Christ's birthday in your heart, that's fine. But if you wanna go and enrich all of these uh, Illuminati um, shops and businesses and stuff by buying all of this crap every year, throwing your money away, stressing yourself out about what you're gonna buy people and what they're gonna buy you, when you need that money for bills and you need it for other stuff. If someone wants to buy you something because they love you, they can do it any time of the year and you can do exactly the same thing. You don't need to do it as part of a pagan festival worshipping Apollyon, the beast from the pit from the book of Revelation, because that is what so-called Christmas is. It's X mass, is it not? Yeah, and the X is a Roman numeral, which is a 10. 10, 
like a word. Eo, that means sun in Greek. Eo mass, sun mass. It's the worship of the sun of the devil. So I'm not participating in any of it, in any shape or form. Um, I don't want people buying cards or anything like that to send me this year. Thank you, I don't want them. Thank you. If you want to buy me something, you can buy me something at another time of the year. That, because, you know, don't bother getting it at the other time of the year. You know, you could, you could bother and do it some other time. You don't need to spend your money as part of a pagan festival to give to me or expect me to spend my money as part of a pagan festival, which is nothing to do with Jesus Christ, to buy you a present to celebrate the beast from the pit from the book of Revelation. I don't need to do that. If you want to do something nice for Christmas, why don't you go and uh, tend to uh, some of the homeless. I'm not concerned about the pretend homeless that sit outside cash points and stuff like that and pretend they're homeless and they're not. You can see when people are unwell. You can see when people are sick and have got problems. You can see them in the street for yourself, but you're too busy looking at that fit chick with the big boobs or you're looking at that handsome guy. You never look around you at the uglier people and the problems that they've got and maybe they need some help, do you? No, because you're too busy packing your bags with shopping and worrying about yourself self self and woe is you because you know this christmas isn't going to be like proper there is no christmas in december that is satanalia it's not for christians and what did god say come out of them my children at least you share you know sins the whore of babylon and this is all part of the whore of babylon i'm having nothing to do with it um please don't ask me to participate in any of it if i want to worship jesus christ i can worship him in my heart and I, you know, and I can do good things to show that I love Jesus Christ. I don't need to go and fill the shop owner's pockets with the money that I haven't got to waste each year just so that we can have one day of sitting in front of the television eating mince pies and a turkey that's as tough as leather. No thanks. You keep it. Christmas is not in December. If you do a bit of research, you'll find that it's actually in September. And it's more than likely on the 11th of September, 9-11. What better day to celebrate attacking Jesus Christ by killing loads of people? No, forget Christmas. That is not Christmas. You won't catch me celebrating pagan Christmas ever.